Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing the module-wise important questions for environment protection and management subject of subject code 21 CV 753. So we know that uh, EPM is an open elective subject and uh, it's pretty easy compared to the other open elective subjects. So let's get started. We'll discuss module-wise questions and we'll also speak about the passing package or the most easiest modules to cover first. So all these questions have been curated by comparing the previous year papers and the internal papers also. So do check this out. It will be available in the J drive. So let's get started. We'll discuss one by one questions. So the first question is about the unique characteristics of environmental problems and uh, with examples. So here it could be asked for 10 marks. We have to define all the problems like population growth, waste production, climate change. There are nearly 10 to 15 uh, problems are there. So just explain all those. Okay. So if it's a 10 mark question, definitely you have to write minimum of 10 points and if it's possible, write at least 12 to 15 points. Next moving on, we have environment management and uh, how national development affects the environment parameters. So environment management, we have policy, planning, implementation, there are seven points under this and how national development affects the environment parameters. Again, uh, a simple question, a logical question, you can answer it very easily, right? So next we have is the principles of environment management. So this is a must question because it has these seven principles are very important. Uh, triple P, user pay principle, precautionary principle, principle of responsibility and other principles. So we have to describe each and every principle in detail. Next we have is what is environmental stewardship? Explain its importance. So what is environmental stewardship and uh, uh, what are the types of uh, environmental stewardship? What are the objectives of it and uh, all those things you have to define it here. Okay. Next, uh, explain the corporate responsibilities for environmental protection. What is the purpose of the scrap and how does it work? In notes, it is detailedly given, so just check that out. Then national policies for abatement of pollution and list major activities initiated under pollution abatement schemes. So this question is a must because out of seven major policies, any two or three could be asked together or they can ask uh, us only, we can write any two or three policies like Wildlife Protection, Water Act, Air Pollution Act, uh, National Water Policy, Environmental Policy 2006, NEP and National Forest Policy 2007, all these are the major ones, okay. So do check that out. Next we have system approach to uh, corporate planning in terms of environmental management plan, EP. Uh, M EMP, so there's a figure here, so draw that figure and explain all the points, easy. Next, environmental uh, impact reduction comes under the second question only, environmental management, so the same thing is repeated here. It, this could be asked for 5 marks. And then we have business uh, charter for sustainable production and consumption, again a, a lengthy topic, you have to define all the points here, so just check out the notes, it's properly given. Next, so I would say that guys, first module is pretty limited. If you cover these uh, major questions, you'll be all done with the first module. It's all about principles and policies. Uh, that policies question, definitely it will be there for 10 marks. And then uh, what are the principles? Again, 10 marks. So these are the main questions which would be there, definitely. Moving on further, module 2, we have uh, what are the environmental quality uh, objectives. So there are nearly 14 to 15 objectives in the notes. Out of that, any 10 clean air, climate, ozone layer, groundwater, forest, uh, greenery, all those things. Very general things also you can write here. Then difference between pollution control and pollution prevention, concentration standards versus mass standards, closing the loops versus zero discharge technologies. For this zero discharge technology, there's a figure and closing loop also, you can just um, make a flowchart and explain it. So again, these could be asked for 5, 5 marks or 10 marks also. Next, what are clean air productions and clean technologies? Again, an important topic. And what is its relevance to the environmental protection? Next we have is environmental protection evaluation or the objectives of environmental protection indicators. So again, a very important question about environmental protection indicators. Next we have development of uh, minimum national standards for industries. And then uh, examine the economic and educational barriers of uh, to pollution prevention. Again, a simple question only. So module two is all about the quality aspect. So if uh, from the quality aspect, this objectives would be there and cleaner technology. So clean production and technology is one point. Then we have this uh, performance indicators and performance evaluation. Yeah. So these are the main highlights which would come from module two. Next coming to module three. So module three has nearly five topics which are very main 
and from those five topics only there are sub topics which are generated for example the differences between the iso 14001 2015 and emas very important out of these three any one would be definitely asked next we have the components benefits barriers of implementing ems as per iso 14001 so again a very important topic objectives and targets of environmental management again a basic one environmental policy and discuss the process of what is the process of developing the environmental policy again a very important question then we have the modalities of initial environment review so initial environment review is again a very important topic you can just make a flow chart and explain the entire thing here there are nearly 7 to 8 steps draw the flow chart explain each and every step with 5 5 points you will be done with it next concept of continual uh, Uh, improvement and pollution prevention with EMS. Again, this comes under EMS topic only. Then environmental aspect and impact analysis. What is the uh, importance of it? Then next we have is the purpose and benefits of environmental management program. Again, it is somewhat similar to the fourth question and third question only. The same thing you have to repeat here. So guys, uh, I would say that this subject, even if you don't remember anything, also you can just. write anything related to environment how to save environment what are the policies about environment how to protect it how to manage it you will get at least 4 to 5 marks out of 10 marks because it is at the end of the day it is just related to environment and its uh, protection only right so same points same things generally you can fill it also next we have fourth module is all about environmental audits and performance evalu uh, evaluation so what is environmental audit environmental compliance audit explain its objectives and scope again important process of environment management system as per iso 19011 figure with figure next we have legislative requirements of ems what is the role of uh, competence training and awareness in ems implementation so if you see this fourth question and here the eighth question are somewhat similar because it's all about the awareness and training and management program such things what is due vigilance audit and role and qualifications of environmental auditor so uh, they could ask about what are uh, how does the environment audit work and uh, what are the what is the key role of environmental auditor so again here short note is written then what is the environmental non conformance suggest corrective and preventive actions so there are six questions in this fourth module is easy i would say first module second module then comes fourth module because straight forward topics are there in very simple topics are there you can easily study fifth module is very generalized one even if you know something about textile sugar pulp paper tannery electroplating textile industries you can fill pages here so they can ask about pollution prevention opportunities in all these industries so just check out the notes all these points have been given in detail so just uh, study that and remember that it will be helpful and even the prevention uh, even the prevention point are same in few industries textile sugar pulp paper some of the prevention acts are same right so you can just fill it up there and what is the hazardous waste classification characteristics and how do we dispose this again hazardous waste very important question next we have concept of transboundary movement of pollutants with example again a very generalized topic right then we have detailed environmental management system plan for organization and considering its units and compliance again a very simple how do you uh, make out a environmental management system plan for a company uh, including all the units which are present all the employees and compliance needs which are uh, which are required for the running of that company so again very simple you can just write in general also a note on waste audit procedures and waste minimization uh, planning for the industry so again you are just providing how do we, how do we perform the audit and how do we minimize the waste which is produced and we are providing a plan to the industry so again a very easy topic so guys i would say first module is the easiest next we have the second module then comes the fifth module which is very generalized and in fourth module there are limited topics and coming to third module you have these all these uh, schemes which you have to remember and it it is it is doable okay and the notes are available compiled notes are available for all the modules and even the previous year papers would be available in the description along with the important questions do check it out and prepare well for your exam if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and all the best for your for your last exam of 7th sem thank you